on. Hey, girl. Hey. So how do you feel about Maddie on RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, <laughs> I mean, my Twitter message was very clear. I felt they should both go home. That was just me. Um, so, what they did to that song is unforgivable. And I'm not sure what Maddie was doing um, because that strange Tourette's moment that she was having over there, I was not feeling. <laughs> so I have an uncomfortable yet brave opinion. Okay. Maddie should not have been in the bottom. Who because been she, uh uh Orion, whatever her name is. Oh. Because what Maddie sewed, although dowdy, <laughs> actually kind of looked like a wedding dress. I well, I mean I mean personally, based on the based on the theme, I felt many of them. <laughs> The bottom oh yeah yeah oh absolutely I was, absolutely i when i tell you i was sitting on that couch i was living oh <laughs> when I they was... kept, every dress that kept coming out i was like um where's the wedding dress oh not just the wedding dress where what do y'all know what resort where is nope i mean they got they got glamorous but do y'all know what resort where like nope, like not. I need I Anya know. from Project Runway to show up and like oh, bring girl. some muslin out. Like, do you remember that muslin dress girl. that she just whipped out in oh. like five minutes at the very end? And it was the yeah. most luxe thing that was ever made on Project Runway. That woman lives and breathes resort wear. Like she lives yes. in her pores. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I loved her. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. I think. Why do I think she has a sordid past? Uh, there was a sex tape. Well, there's sex tape with everybody. But remember, back then, that wasn't that was part of the sorted sordidness. That's was anybody, true. Uh, remember this? That was before everyone had an OnlyFans. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's true. Remember, remember, times have changed very quickly. Do you need, do you need to plug your OnlyFans right now? Um, if you would like to visit my OnlyFans, it's um. Uh, it's just me with uh, a little Chinese uh, Chinese ladies fan, and um, and I like to just you know fan myself. So if you want to come watch it, you can. You're probably not going to get the same reaction that you would from some of the other OnlyFans pages, but it's just I can't even with you right now. It is what it is. I mean, I don't. I mean, I give the people what they want. Am I not recording on this thing again? It says start recording over here, but I thought I would start recording. Make sure everybody's um, ready. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to record that. All right. Recording will start. Oh, soon. yeah. I was going to say, I, I never saw a message pop up. Okay. There we go. It's yeah. We're recording. Anyway, dear listeners, I apologize about that. We are recording like seven different ways now to make sure yeah, that, you know, we're trying we to make sure to get the content to you. To the content to you. But back to RuPaul's Drag Race. Do you <clears> have a favorite right now? So far, mm -hmm. I would say that. Based on personality, my favorite is cornbread. Um, mm -hmm. Based on bringing the looks, it's um, the British one. What's her name? Whoever really? Her. I really liked her looks this week. Oh, I thought they were. I like the range of them because they were all over the map and I really enjoyed that. I thought they were okay. I, I really like cornbread because, and I think it's finally a fat girl can win. Right, like well, see that's my problem though, right? So I'm having I'm having an issue with cornbread because mm -hmm. I like cornbread and mm -hmm. I like cornbread's personality. Mm -hmm. But there's starting to be a little bit of a polish issue that That's true. Is getting a, it's like there's it's there's something there that's like right? Like I and that's a thing for me like I I'm still team cornbread, but this week especially, I mean Yes, you have to make your own garments, and that's fine. I appreciate that. But <laughs> do you though? <laughs> well, if that last the last garment, but like the way hers was fitted mm -hmm. to me was like, ooh, this is really bad. Like I felt like it was really bad yeah, because yeah, yeah. But but you say that, and you see, compared to how June's was fitted. No, no, June's was atrocious. 
There's no like yeah, June should like, go home. Like, like there like, was no question to me that June should have gone. Like yeah. even if even before the lip sync. And I liked going back to Maddie. I liked the middle look. It was cheap and trash. <laughs> it was cheap. But like I didn't mind but, it. But the problem I'm having and and my husband said it too is that there is something about Maddie that is appealing to us specifically because we know that drag queen, right? Like we know that drag queen. When yeah. Maddie got in the bottom two and he said, he was like, he's like, I'm going to lip sync. The, like when he went in his moment, uh-huh. we, looked, we looked at each other on the couch. We're like, oh, we know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's how we're all feeling right now is like, we especially being like from the South and from like, not exactly like the polished part of drag. Yeah. Like we're looking at Maddie like, hey girl, we see you. Like, you, yeah, you, you yeah. bring it, honey. You bring it. You bring it. I don't care if you got that from Marshalls or <laughs> where else, right? Like that. Like, I don't care, girl. You <laughs> Ross Cross dress for less, girl. Right? Ross better, Cross dress for less. Sell that dress. You better sell it because because that's all they care about. You sell it, honey. <laughs> but so that's how I felt. I was just like, I get it. It's like, that's how I felt. That, like, cause at first, at first on the first episode that he was on, I was kind of like, oh, okay, I got, he's really theatrical. I like it, whatever. But when he had that moment, that little breakdown, I'm in the bottom moment. I was like, oh, I know you. <laughs> like, I know you in my heart. I know. Now, and, and I'll go back to why I, again, why I don't think he should, he should have been sent home because he was limited into how he could lip sync by June leaving all of her stuff. I don't even want to talk about that. All that, was, over, that was upsetting. That I was, was like unprofessional. I was like, she took off all of her dress, like literally all of her. Drag. Yes. Her shoes, most of her dress and her wig and yes. had on that kitty cat wig, which yes. was yes. not even. And when you do that, when it's more than one girl on stage, you kick it off the stage. Yep. You don't just you, leave it. You don't just leave it. Because you know what? If I was Maddie, I would have done. I would have slipped and fell on it and said, oh, no, I'm hurt, Rue. I'm hurt. Help. Help. I would have probably slipped into a death drop. Can't but you I death be drop? Dead. I'll be dead. No, I, 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 I was about like, to say, girl, can't, 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 can't. No, you? honey, I can't even lift. I can't even bend my leg at that angle. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, couldn't, you... I couldn't do that when I was in my 20s. <laughs> I had somebody try to show me that yeah. back in the day. And they were like, the first thing you got to do is trust that you're going to hit the ground. I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely trust that. Like I, I, I but like, for I those of you that don't that. know, we've all I had did, a young queen that tried to teach us how to death. <laughs> they weren't young. They were older than me. Oh Lord. They, got, they, they, they were a cheerleader. Me. You know him. He was like, what, yeah, of, man, you can do this. Of all people to teach that, like the person who is literally a human pretzel, like yes. of all the people. Yes, who had like, <laughs> it was it was wild. They had a broken ankle that they were t- trying to show. Oh, I him love that. That's what I was thinking too. And I'm like, this is not even a person who technically is able to do what he's supposed to be doing and not be injured. <laughs> Exactly. Numerous surgeries and yeah, like and both physical ankles. Therapies I think and... a, I think a knee and a hip. Like, like, but it's you know still what? Going. It's still more power to you, girl. More power. To more you. power to you, girl. More power to you. I, I ain't got the deductible for all that. I ain't, I ain't got the deductible. Yeah, I ain't got the deductible for all that. So. Oh God, no, me, me neither, little girl. I got that cheap insurance. They ain't gonna pay for death drops. <laughs> How'd you hurt yourself? Um, I fell off. Uh, uh, I, I slipped on my dog. I slipped on my dog. Speaking <laughs> of slipping on your dog, did you know we have a Patreon? What? <laughs> we <Dude. laughs> This is very strange segue. <laughs> if you, dear listeners, if you want to throw us a little bit of money here mm-hmm. and there, Just a little bit, uh, d- 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 feel free to join us at patreon.com by, backslash baking sugar. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you if you could think of anything you want from us for this <laughs> money, reach out to us on Twitter at Baking Sugar Pod and let us know. Or OnlyFans. Or no, 
Not our OnlyFans. We do not. I don't have an OnlyFans. Well, okay, I do have an OnlyFans to follow some people, but I don't have what? <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta have a profile to subscribe to people. <laughs> no, I just like that you're like I don't. Oh wait, I technically do. <laughs> I mean, I I don't I don't post anything, and I've got like the OnlyFans assigned username, um, and you won't know who I like. There's no way to search for that. Girl, why are you going to so I'm, 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 I'm subtly got defensive. I don't want anybody to think my you winky's on that. Defensive. My winky. I just said you my got winky. Super defensive. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. You just, Dear you just listeners, launched, you just launched into it. This has been your episode of Baking Sugar for the Week. Speaking of your episode for Baking Sugar for the Week, I've got just throwing a lot of things out right now. We're making a new pod eventually. <laughs> a new podcast. Eventually. We still haven't got done, dear listeners, because Mame needed her Geritol today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like to chase with my Sanka. <laughs> so we if we've got a new pod coming out, it's called Where's Dorothy? Oh my god. Um it's it, we're gonna follow along with uh Golden Palace, which was the sequel to Golden Girls. My husband in watching this recent episode of uh Murder, she wrote, was like the one thing I can say about Golden Palace versus these past two episodes of Murder, she wrote is Golden Palace is better than this, and I don't know what that says. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, even including the the car, the the car. With yes, the... he's like it's more coherent than this. <laughs> I thought it was quite coherent. <laughs> evil evil automated car kills everyone i thought that was pretty coherent let's frame the inventor and, and try to take his money oh god there you go that was it that's the episode that's the episode Lord. although i will say that i made the mistake of watching a um a british and a british have you watched endeavor no oh it's the apparently like you remember the old pbs inspector morse no oh you weren't as much into British mysteries as I was, were you? No, they're very boring. <laughs> I love them so much. I, I like that one, a uh, Broad Church. I really like Broad Church. I love these so much. So anyway, so like, so Inspector Morris was a very like beloved one in like the nineties. I think it was. Was it boring? 2000s. I didn't find it boring. But the British people loved it so much that now they have an origin story series oh. of him as a young police oh, officer. That's exciting. I hate you so. Much. That's so exciting. Up, I hate you. Stop being such a dick. I like Broadchurch. No, I know you said that already. I oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. You might like Endeavor. It's kind of like Broadchurch. Is it? Yes. Is it? Is is yes. there? Is there rape? There was. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not that that not that that matters. I really yeah, don't I mean, think that matters. Do that at one all. out very specifically. Like, is there this? Well, yeah, uh, th yeah, that really was. doesn't matter at all. Did you change your hair color? It looks a little orange right now. It's been orange for weeks. I just have it pulled back. Oh, mostly. okay. I, d I didn't know. I yeah, didn't it's been know. orange for like about three three weeks I now. Did, I didn't know if you had like you had some Cheetos over there with your pump and nickel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and we're, we're just rubbing Cheeto dust. I just rub it to my hair, my little Cheeto dust here. Yeah. You know, dear listeners, in case of an emergency, in case yeah. of an emergency, That's you can use is. Cheeto dust as eyeshadow. I'm joking. Don't do that, dear listeners. <laughs> Don't do that. It is not eye safe. But you can probably use it as lip <laughs> lipstick or lip powder. You could probably use it as a, I bet you could use it as a blush. You probably could. I wonder how long it'd stay. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, there's, I mean, orange blushes are actually like having a moment right now. So they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are. Ooh, I want some Cheetos. Mm. What kind? What kind of Cheetos are you? Um, I like just the regular crunchy ones, but I can't really eat them because of the corn allergy. So yeah. I only, I can only have them in like very small numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan. See, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Cheetos fan. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I am an Utz cheese ball fan. Ooh, oh yes. Th girl. Those, those, yes. those. Oh I yes, ma'am. I like those yes, bear. The, I like those bear. The Cheetos. I. Oh yes, ma'am. And we're starting to get Utz down here. They finally started oh! coming in the stores. I know. Oh! I'm so excited. Oh! Go get you some of the uh, Russell uh, dark potato chips. Okay. They're 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 
I'm sure that they're just get, rejects from the other batches that they throw into another bag, but what's up? Do y'all get wrap snacks up there? Get what now? Wrap snacks. Wrap snacks now? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll have to take a picture of a bag and send it to you. So wrap snacks are like, it's a chip brand, then all the flavors are named for different wrappers. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> And like, but like, it's like, it's like, cool. it's like endorsed by them. So like okay. the, Cardi, the Cardi B flavor has like a Cardi B, like Cardi B graphic on the thing. Like oh, it's ridiculous. I'll have you, to find a Mame, find we, we have been chatting already for 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, sweet Lord. Let's just get into this podcast. Dear listeners, this is season two, episode 12. I'll be home for Christmas. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that's Marjorie. Just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the light went out in Georgia. The light went out, the light went out, the light went out, the light went out. And that is the night the light went out in Georgia. Well, now you do. Uh, well, so, at least it's a linear episode, so it, it won't is, take us as it long. It is. It <laughs> is. So we're at Sugar Bakers, and we find out that Charlene is not going home for Christmas. Not going okay. back to Poplar Bluff. That's right. And Mary Jo's like, well, what are you thinking about right now, Charlene? She's like, I've got a lot of Virgils in my family, <laughs> and I'm so happy that Sybil Shepherd finally had those twins. <laughs> I remember that. I remember it was such a big deal. We were all on like Sybil Shepherd pregnancy watch. Yeah, I know. I love Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> I do. I do. Dear listeners, you can find Sybil, I think, on it's either on Hulu or Paramount. Not Paramount Plus. Be, I uh, honestly, CBS I was. One. I was very surprised that that wasn't our second podcast. Personally, I'm really surprised. I thought that was definitely going to be like our second podcast. Well, you already had the graphic for Murder She Wrote. You slay me, so that's why we went with that I'm one. I'm not mad. I love. You. I'm loving how <laughs> ridiculous it is, and I'm loving how you get to watch it. How ridiculous it is. You know what? After we finish, uh, that podcast we haven't started yet. <laughs> where's, where's Dorothy? Where's Dorothy? We can do Where's Dorothy season two. Where's Doctor Dick? <laughs> oh my God, that's the title of Where's Doctor Dick? That's it. There's our title for our our Sybil. There you go. See. There you go. See. So we'll I just we'll just keep it and we'll serialize it and make each season a different short. Because <clears throat> although Sybil was on for like five seasons, yeah, it was on for a bit. Oh God. So we find out. That Mary Jo's kids are going to their dads on Christmas Day. Yes, but not the day before Christmas. So she still gets to see them on Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that morning, just later on that evening, they're going to the the uh his the, what's the name of the oh the guy t- Ted? uh Ted. No. Thank you. Ted. Yeah, Ted. Ted, Ted. Shively. Ted, Ted Shively. Shively. Uh, so they're going to his for Christmas Day. When you were when you were younger, did you guys celebrate on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Um, we did Christmas Day. Okay. Um, in my marriage, however, we do Christmas Eve now because yeah, we never technically had traditions in our family. Yeah. And uh, and when he said like, "Oh, this was a tradition," I was like, "Okay, I'm not going to even argue." <laughs> Because yeah, like, we, we, we always celebrated Christmas Eve. That's what we always did. Yeah. So Unless my just... mom worked Christmas Eve, then we would celebrate. Well, we would still celebrate Christmas Eve because she went in like midnight. Like we would celebrate and then the next morning come out in and we'd have breakfast with her when she came home. Mm. Yeah. I just discovered, I didn't know this. Um, did you know? I mean, you probably already knew this, but I didn't know that toad in the hole was a breakfast food. I, 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 I didn't, I don't ever really consider it. <laughs> I, I, because you know they always talk about an already being served, and so I actually saw the recipe for it yesterday, and I was like, "Wait, this is a breakfast food?" Because oh, you didn't know, always... you didn't know what it was? No, 
Oh, okay then. I, I understand now. Yes. Yeah, no, I had I had never looked it up before. So it's, it's just egg and a piece of toast. It's really not that great. <laughs> There's sausage there too. It's not always. Oh, okay. <laughs> like <laughs> all right, Bon Appetit. You guys should be giving us all the different. Oh, girl, of the don't recipes. ever. Do you use Bon Appetit for recipes? Um, I have in the past. I don't. They they. I I like, I like some of their recipes. I have never. I have one recipe for Bon Appetit that has ever worked. Only one. The rest have been just, I'm flying through that kitchen trying to figure shit out, and it's never been a good time. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I am a Milk Street or... Uh, of course you are. Or what's that other one? Uh, Cook's Illustrated. Mm-hmm. New York Times, if it's not too complicated. Washington Post actually does real good, too. It's anyway. so bougie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I give money to that Jeff Bezos on newspaper. Oh man, yeah, Ugh. yeah. Like this is how bougie my family, it, like my current situation is. Um, <laughs> I subscribe to the News and Observer, which is uh, Raleigh's newspaper, mm-hmm. and the Washington Post. Mm-hmm. And my husband subscribes to the New York Times. So we are a. Bougie, 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 bougie news family. I had the Wall Street Journal for a hot second, too. I don't know why I had it, girl, but I had it. Do you got some stocks and bonds you ain't telling me about? I got some bonds. What's that Lord supposed Amber to be? I don't Get back to know. the story. Get back oh, to right. the story. So, so they decide to have Christmas at Mary Joe's. Exactly. The whole group. The whole group. And we find out that um, Suzanne... Gave Julia a piano, and they're sort of kidding around, like, do you think that Julia even there. knows that this is a piano? Um, when she goes and plays it, I was like, wait, yeah. what? Yeah, like, they have the keys open and out, like, and it's just, like, there. Like, it's 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 a it's a grand piano. It is not a small, like, upright. No. It is a grand piano. Well, baby grand, but still. Um, Charlene... Is going to be Santa at her church. Yes. And yes. she's going to deliver presents to all the kids. Yep. Um, Mary Jo yep. starts crying because we find out in a weird cut clip that Quentin no longer believes in Santa. Yes. So Mary Jo is crying because, as we all know, that's the sign of your child growing up. Yeah. And so he's going to set up traps to try to catch <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Was this before or after Home Alone? This has to be before. I wonder if this inspired Home Alone, this episode. Oh, God. Look at you with all this inspiration stuff. No, girl! <laughs> well, you never know. I don't know. That's true. You never know. You never know. Somebody could have been, literally, there could have been like a, a starving writer in Los Angeles that was just had nothing else to do but watch an episode of Design Women and said, oh my gosh, what if I took this and multiplied it by like a billion Here's how you would know. Did Linda Bloodworth Thompson get a writing credit on Home Alone? Oh, that's true. I don't know, and I don't care enough to find out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So we find out that uh, Anthony quit believing in Santa at three years old. <laughs> this story was so good. <laughs> because he was poor, and Uncle Willie, when, they, when he couldn't afford presents, Uncle Willie... Said that Santa was stabbed and killed. <laughs> so when when Anthony wanted a uh, baseball mitt the oh, next no. year, he wrote to the elves, and then Uncle Willie said all of the elves were killed in a sledding accident right outside the Seven Eleven. There were <laughs> elf bodies everywhere. I love that so much. I I I, I kind of was like, man, I wish we had somebody that drew fan art from our episodes and yes. drew that that would be so nice how much funnier would it would or better i should say would santa claus the movie have been <laughs> if there was a sledding accident and just like done the patches and bobo would he he and ah <laughs> we're just all out there just, the just bloody elf course just corpses just elf corpses and everybody's then, Bleeding puce colored blood. <laughs> and then 
Mrs. Claus out there crying and her tears are puce colored and they revive them because these these elves they can't die man they can't die that's the whole purpose of the damn movie they can't die just puce everywhere puce puce. everywhere puce Uh, (laughs) we find out uh, Julia's in there she's she she walked in as, as Mary Jo was having her moment and she's like Payne's not coming on for Christmas he's going to Aspen we find out that Reese is going to be in Phoenix for Christmas with his daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, and Suzanne was going to go to Switzerland, but her friends are sick, so she decided not to go, right? Correct, correct. Um, so Anthony says, come with me to Macon on Christmas Day to come visit my grandmama. She makes a sweet potato pie. They'll they'll make you slap your mama. And I'm like, that is where I would like to go, dear listeners. Literally, like, literally. if I had I, been the rest of them, I would have been like, cool, let's go now. Let's just go. Like, now. like, like right this second. What, what we're 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 going. We Has are. She going. already made the pies. Let's go. Like, <laughs> like, does she need help with the pies? I mean, does she need the, an extra? Does she need extra window sill? Suzanne's got a lot of window sills. What, what does window she, What does she need? What does she need? But no, 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 no. Instead, Charlene is making raccoon because it's a tradition and popular bluff. Yes. Yes. My, um, I have a coworker uh-huh. that has uh, two raccoons that basically like just live outside of her, her place. Like they okay. just hang out on the yeah. lawn furniture and like, yeah, they've made it like their, their house now. Yes. Okay. Good. She knows not to go near them. Right. Yes, she knows. And she she knows to not go anywhere near the poop, right? Yes, she knows. Well, well, the the dear listeners, those of you that don't know, PSA: raccoon poop <laughs> has so many viruses and bacteria in it. Like it is so deadly to humans. You 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 bat and raccoon poop. You just stay away from. Like it is gross to humans. I didn't know about the bat poop. Yeah, bat poop too. Yeah. Yeah, like, 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 did I ever tell you about the desiccated bat? No. So one day, so I'm in the room I'm in right now is, is the cat poop center, right? Mine too. And one day my husband, he, he, he cleans up the cat poop, was cleaning up the cat poop and like getting it ready. We're going to have a house guest. So we're going to put the cat thing downstairs. Um, so we, we, he, he was cleaning up the bathroom a little opened up the shower curtain and there was a desiccated bat in there in the shower in the shower i have no idea where this bat came from we don't ever open up our windows like without screens on we we don't go into our attic we have no clue how this bat this desiccated dead bat like it had been in that shower dead for a couple months right no idea. Yeah, I see that look you're giving. Me. No idea how this bat wound up in there. I wonder if it was a vampire that was gonna come after you. Well, it's it's wrapped up and just ran out blood, so died. Right. It was like it was like it was gonna come there, and then it was like it's like maybe something happened and it like broke its wing and it couldn't transform back, and so yeah. then it just laid in the tub and realized I'm this is it. Like this is how I'm gonna go. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to make it. Well, you know, vampires don't die. They, they can get resuscitated with blood. Cause I've seen, I've seen that. What's that movie with Kate Beckinsale? Um, Underworld. Underworld. Yeah. I've seen all, I've seen two or three of them. Um, <laughs> Aren't there like 12 at this point? <laughs> yeah. There, there, there was Kate Beckinsale, Kate Beckinsale, the one, the one who looks exactly like Kate Beckinsale, then Kate Beckinsale again. What is her name? The what? The woman who looks. You know, I'm talking about. Right? I know you're talking about. I don't know her name. She, she was. She was in that just, fantastic movie where she had the removable eye that she could roll around and see things. I just call her Bobo Kate Beckinsale. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll say Fomka Jensen, even though that's not who it is. That's not who that is. She's older <laughs> than Kate the, Kate Beckinsale. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I but like so we, that poor that poor vampire is wrapped up in a trash bag. In a, pow- in a heap somewhere, so it's it's going to be buried for millennia before it gets back. Much, much like, um, much like this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Charlene offers to uh, 
uh, put out the presents for um, Santa. Yeah. Quentin, Quentin, and, uh, Quentin and Stacy. That's not right. Claudia. <laughs> Claudia. Thank you. <laughs> Were you uh, thinking about the what not to wear people? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. I was. <laughs> I love Stacy London. Um, anyway, go to put put them out dressed up as uh, Santa and offers. Hey, Anthony, why don't you be my helper and uh, come come with me and do that. And then walks in Suzanne <laughs> in a fur coat. Iconic moment. And I believe a lavender dress. Is it lavender or is it blue? It's lavender. Lavender, lavender. dress walking a pig. In a ballerina costume. In a ballerina costume with a bow on its head. Yes, indeed. The pig was a gift from Consuela. Because her family's, it's actually a gift from her family. The, yep. And she's like, I'm not going to take this pig to the slaughterhouse. Which you was know, admirable. That was admirable. Yeah, like the uh, the uh, pound won't take it. Nobody will take this pig. And do you have any idea how hard it is to find a 26-inch rhinestone collar? <laughs> I love what she's like when she says this pig is real. You know what? This pig really is my mood right now. Yeah, I was like, exactly. yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, last time I was in Kinston, North Carolina, Not going to the Kinston. chef and the farmer uh, for dinner, there's apparently a woman who walks a pig around. Oh. She's just got a pet pig and she walks it around. Is it Delta Burke? No, it's not Delta Burke. Oh, darn. I was really hoping you were going to say that was like the surprise of that. So, so, uh, Julia says, I just have one thing to say. This pig is not going with us Christmas shopping. <laughs> Which then, the pig wasn't with them when they went Christmas shopping, so no. who has the pig now? That's like, exactly who's babysitting right. babysitting the pig? So they're at the mall, and like, dear listeners, I don't, if, if y'all are younger, you may have not experienced this. There, there were these people whose job it was to walk around and spray you with perfume yep and they would them. spray the men they would spray the women they would spray everybody mm -hmm. it was horrible it was they don't do that that much anymore like i've i've been even before like the pandemic i guess that was <laughs> christmas of 2018 i was i was in the mall dear listeners i i went to a, a mall you went to a mall i went to a mall that's not Does, like you. Are you okay? You got a I fever? I love malls. I Do you? Love, I love, I am a 90s child. I love malls. Okay. I mean. I do. I good. do. I'm not, I'm just, I don't, I was I don't, surprised. I don't like piss poor malls. I like good malls. Oh, okay. That's the difference. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Like, I, I like, I like. I like Haynes Mall. Not I don't Haynes Mall. I don't <laughs> like Signal Hill. The um, way you just said Haynes. <laughs> girl, speaking of Haynes Mall, so the, the, the Macy's closed down and the Sears closed down. That JCPenney's still going, though, by the way. Of course it is. No, but nothing's that, ever going to take down JCPenney. But the but the, the Sears and the and the the uh the Macy's shut down. The Macy's is getting turned into like the offices of a credit union. Oh, okay. And the Sears got turned into a multi-story urgent care. Interesting. Yeah, that's why I was like, this is an interesting way to save a mall. I mean, that's happening here, too. So, um, obviously, I haven't lived here my whole life. There was a mall, very, it was apparently like, it was, it was like their version of South Park. Ooh. Um, yeah, like, it was really nice. Um, and... Something happened after one of the hurricanes and it just it was like catastrophic kind of damage and it mm -hmm. was never it never rebounded. Mm -hmm. So it was just like a ghost mall. And mm. it was sitting there for pretty much the whole time I've lived here until about three years ago. And now it's been turned into like a whole office suite and uh, this whole complex now that's like, you know, literally, literally. Yeah. So our local mall, the Cary local mall. Which is Cary Town, Town Center. Center. Cary Town Center. Cary Town Center is no longer Cary Town Center. What's it called now? 
Um, it is the headquarters for Epic Games. They're tearing down the whole damn thing. Wait, what? Yeah. The whole mall? The whole mall. They, except for the belt. The belt is the only thing that's got bones that can stay. No way. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's yeah. cool, but man, that's crazy. Yeah. Now, uh, the only thing that was allowed to stay, the only thing that was allowed to stay, these damn software engineers, was the Dave and Busters. Of course. Of course. So at the mall, Suzanne has an idea to hire a mall Santa to go to Mary Jo's as well. It's mm-hmm. just like another little. <laughs> um, so, so like Julia's like, why would you do that? And Suzanne's like, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I, I, we all have friends like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you think it through? I mean, kind of. I mean, yeah, exactly. What could go wrong? It's fine. It's Santa. I'm like, it's... have you not have you not paid attention to Mall Santas for the last, I don't know, hundred years? <laughs> Especially in the eighties. What? Oh my God. So my my coworker went up to um to uh New York. Not New York. To get engaged. This was this was during like the beginning of Omicron. Oh, she geez. got engaged in front of like the uh the uh 30 rock so Aww. she got she got engaged there but is she a fan of nbc no it's just the ice skating rink oh okay <laughs> it's like is that symbolic um but it was during santa con she said there were are you familiar with santa con i uh, know i am that's why i'm just like what yeah like she didn't know i was like oh you are in for a treat Girl, when you see some Santas jacking off on the side of the road, just keep on going. That sounds awful. And there's also a huge thing that that's part of what caused COVID to spike so, and the Omicron to spike so early in New York was caused by Santa God. Thank you, Santa. Thank you yet again. You're the gift that keeps on giving. So we're back at Mary Jo's. And Mary Jo comes downstairs with a red solo cup of milk. Because the prop people didn't want milk on their set. (laughs) Am I wrong? No, you're right. It's just very funny to me. (laughs) Like, you don't see there's any kind of liquid even in this cup. She's got to angle it up so that you just see a yellow solo cup and some cookies. Um, She's like, kids, go on to bed. You know, and but Quentin's like, I'm I'm gonna get back up. Ha 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 ha. You hate that child so I much. I, I, Claudia is not. Claudia is okay. Uh, you're not. Well, Claudia is better this time. Yeah, Claudia was. Remember on that last episode, I was ready to snatch a knot in her tail because she was being a oof. Mm. Mm. So later on. Anthony and Charlene enter with the gifts. They're like, oh, what should we do with this bicycle? Ho, ho, ho. And like, uh, Anthony looks like his character from Mannequin, kind of like the elf version of his character from Mannequin. Oh, he looks so much like Hollywood. I love Hollywood. I keep on saying Rewind, but that's a different character altogether. (laughs) So Quentin has a tripwire out. Yes. Trips them breaks anthony's ankle and charlene's wrist neck and back yeah Yeah. i mean we don't we don't know it's her neck and back till later when she's in the like neck brace but yeah plus we get that song playing in the background because if if the song had been playing in the background we would have been like oh (laughs) we're like oh charlene you broke a lot of stuff (laughs) yeah i know um so (sighs) the other santa enters and helps them out back to their sleigh. And he's like, just start laughing. Ho, ho, ho. It'll make you feel better. So they're going, ho, ho, ho. Charlene's like, are you Santa? And <laughs> Anthony's like, get real. But really, are you Santa? Yeah, they were both. It was very weird. It was a very weird thing. They were, I was like, guys, um, can you not act like actual children right now? Yeah, no, right? So the next morning... Mary Jo comes downstairs and, like, wakes Quentin up, who was sleeping on the couch, and, like, hey, Quentin, where's our tree and presents? 
somebody done grinched this bitch up. <laughs> yeah. Like it everything was gone. Like it was he took the tree. He took the tree. He took the present. He took the decorations. Yeah. He took it. How did Quint not notice? He was asleep. I'm just saying he was did asleep. You, did you, well, you sleep that hard, so never mind. Girl, I have slept through fire alarms. <laughs> I, know, before. I know. I know. So, I know. I know. I mean, especially if Quentin had. If Quentin doesn't normally stay up late. So Quentin already had to stay up late to do what he did the first time around. So uh-huh. when he finally fell asleep, he was probably dead to the world. Mm. <laughs> I can relate to that child. <laughs> so Quentin tells the story of the second Santa. And like mm-hmm. he saw his bike. He played, he even played with his bike. Mm-hmm. And then the Sa- second Santa was there. And he now believes in Santa, both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Two Santas. That was, yeah. I think that was my favorite part is Mary Jo is like, what? When he said the other Santa, like her, she played that yeah. so well because she was yeah. like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so uh, Claudia comes down and it's like, Merry Christmas. We've been robbed. I mean, you gotta, you gotta make light yeah. of, you know, you gotta make light of it, I guess. <laughs> So we're at Sugar Bakers, and everybody blames Suzanne. Mm-hmm. And there's a pig lying right beside Suzanne, just asleep <laughs> in this cute little like red and green uh, plaid tutu thing. I love Noel so much. Yeah, we find we do find out the pig's name is Noel. <laughs> um, oh man! So Anthony's like, well, let's tell everybody what we got each other. Mm-hmm. And Anthony's like, I'll go first. I got Suzanne, and I got her a new car. It's really a shame that that was stolen, ain't it? <laughs> and like, she's he's like, really? No, I got her some gold combs for her hair. They're fourteen carat, and which we like, all knew that wasn't right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Suzanne had Mary Jo, and in true Mary Jo fashion style, bought her a. Sp- Green suede baseball jacket and green suede pants. <laughs> oh boy. Maddie Gorgeous is taking notes on this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I saw Angina in something like this once. It sounds that sounds like something Angina would wear. Yeah. Actually. Or I even just... like Bendela Creme if it was a short jacket, not a long yes, one. Yes. I yeah. can see Bendela Creme rocking. I mean, like Ben basically wore stuff like that on the um on that tour for the, for the holiday show. Yeah, but I don't know if she wears leather. She would wear a pleather or version of they, it. I don't know what their pronouns are. I'll I think Bendela Creme I don't think I think Bendela Creme's is he. I don't think it, okay. don't, Jinx is Jinx is a they. Or just mess, one of the two. If you have not seen, do you ever do you ever watch Jinx Monsoon on YouTube? Cool, mom. I was thinking the one where she's like the 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 the, the uh, audience questions for Jinx. Jeez. It's like three different versions of her, and she's at, uh, comic gold comic I'm, gold i still to this day i'm there i'm not i've never changed who i i've i've still yeah. not had my number one winner bumped off my pedestal still to this day <laughs> so mary joe had charlene and she got her 50 lottery tickets mm-hmm. or was it 75 she just can't remember <laughs> julia had anthony and got him an antique uh puzzle watch pocket watch Oh, was it pocket or puzzle? Pocket watch. Okay, I I heard puzzle watch. Puzzle watch is a thing. <laughs> no, I know, but like... Oh, whatever. I, I, antique pocket watch. Oh, don't be all butter. <laughs> Girl, I'm half deaf anyway. Thank you for pointing that out to the dear <laughs> listeners. Dear <laughs> listeners, I have a hearing aid. I just don't ever use it. That's why they have closed captions. <laughs> Which, do you ever watch this with closed captions? They don't always line up. Oh, I and they don't have all the words. I don't, it's I mean, hilarious. I only watch anime with the captions on, not not. Oh, well, stuff. yeah, unless you can speak Japanese. No. Oh, hi, Agasimus! That means good morning. <laughs> that, was, 
That's all Sorry. I got for you. Sorry, dear listeners, for your eardrums exploding <laughs> just then. Sorry. That's that's all I got. And I know, hi. <laughs> and EA. And like, I know a little bit, a little bit of, of <sighs> it's Nakimas and probably saying them all wrong. Um, <clears throat> where are we at here? Oh, the, there's a phone call. There's a yes. phone call. And it's an overseas operator. And we find out that Suzanne's trip was actually canceled. She didn't go because she wanted to be with Julia. Mm-hmm. It's so sweet. It's, so, it's sweet. so sweet. It's so sweet. It really is. Like that's the gift of the show that keeps on. It's like yeah. you don't get you don't get the reminder always, but every once in a while they'll be like, these two love each other. And it yeah, is, and it like is gold. And like we we did I didn't mention this earlier, but Perky, their mom's in Japan. Yes. Because randomly, right? I wonder if she so, took Bernice. That's maybe where Bernice. Oh God, is. I want to see Bernice in Japan. That would have been a that movie. Could have been a, that could have been a completely different, like uh, uh, an epic story there. An epic story. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. So I they, love they, that. they 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 they're like Charlene. What'd you get, Julia? She's like, well. I, 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 it wasn't stolen. And if the car door, if that car door is right, I think that, it's here. That timing was uh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's pain. It's pain. Pain's here. She paid for half of the airplane from Aspen. Yes. So pain still went to Aspen. No, he still he just, went. He, he just, just came home. He cut his trip short. Yeah. Yeah. So Charlene probably called Payne and said, yeah. your mother is losing it and she yes. really needs to see you. Yes. So now there's a song. I saw mama kissing Santa Claus underneath the game in the night. I don't know the words. I can't. Obviously. <laughs> that was an obvious. Obvious. No, you didn't have to. This is, this is not... Mims of Mames' best friend, Price. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. I I was really happy because, you know, they always usually just, it's usually just Julia that does these things. So I was really kind of happy because I didn't, I forgot forgot the Mary Joe could sing. You you know what I was happy about? What? They took all these people who who sing and put them in a studio to record it. And then put the studio recording as the audio. It didn't quite match up. No, it didn't. But it sounded better than if they'd actually been seeing no. it on set, right? It been, like it would have been good. Oh my god! So because yeah. when Anthony started singing, I'm like, "What rich tones you it have!" Was like click, just not roasting on an open fire. <laughs> like wow. <laughs> oh god! So there's a phone call. Mm-hmm. There's a phone call. And the police found him just outside of town. I mean, well, if I'm looking, if you're looking for a truck full of Christmas trees, presents, yeah, yeah. a bike, <laughs> yeah, and like, like Mary Jo, Mary Jo's like Charlene. I only bought fifty of the tickets. Anthony's like those combs, Suzanne. They weren't actually golden. And like, it's okay. Charlene starts reminiscing. Mm-hmm. And Anthony starts crying, mm-hmm. and Charlie goes over and's like, "What are you crying about?" I love this joke. And Anthony's like, "I thought it was gonna be a story about how your dad getting didn't get a bank loan, so I was already preparing myself for the tears, <laughs> <laughs> but then it turned out not to be." <laughs> It's like, Jesus Christ, Anthony, that is so good. That was good writing. That was well, that, that was right there. Writing. That was good writing. So <laughs> Julia begins singing, I'll be home for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And cue the montage. Cue the montage of all the pictures of the cast. We didn't get a picture of Peyton, but we got a picture of all the rest of the cast um, as children. Mm-hmm. It was lovely. I it really, I mean, I thought 
this was this reminded me very much. I was like, oh man. And then episodes were great over, over the, like they, they cut to the last picture, which is always picture of sugar bakers. <laughs> yes. This time I had Christmas lights on it and you hear Suzanne's voice. And now sing the last Noel from a pig. Do, 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 Oh my God! Ah, oh, so Mame. Yes. Did you find yourself a Miss Georgia World? Um. Yes, I did. Um. It, 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 it is. What is it? Um. Her, her name is Noel. Oh, you chose. Uh, you actually chose Noel. Her name is Noel. <laughs> I was. Um captivated by her pink tutu and that beautiful rhinestone collar i thought if you're going to have a pet pig this is the way to have a pet, pet pig. pig so, so yep <laughs> i picked suzanne when she walks in with that black fur and that lavender thing with the pig as like her friend and a accessory. Yeah. So technically that was my runner up. So I guess we kind of picked the same thing. We did like, it is fantastic. So there is a shirt out there. Um, that is just like an impressionistic shirt of her with the pig. (laughs) It, the, if you look on the uh, Designing Women fan pages, which, dear listeners of the Designing Women fan pages, thank you so much for listening. Thank you we guys love so you. much. We love your support. Um, but yeah, there's somebody on there that's got one of those, and it is. I, I I asked where they got it from, and they never responded. So I'm a little. I need to do a little. Search oh, it's probably from where I got mine from too, because I got I got some Sugar Baker shirts recently, um, and I think one of them was that shirt actually so and you didn't uh, tell me about this i did tell you about this you did not tell me about this i did t- i told you that i was getting some designing women and murder okay. shirt shirts i told you that like a few weeks ago when did you tell me i said like that was going to be my christmas present to myself i don't remember when you told me this yeah i'll have to so did you tell me in person or did you tell me over the text? have i ever told you anything in person for the last few years <laughs> Did you tell me on this podcast? I don't remember which place I told you, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 oh my god, will you I, stop? I, stop being guy. What is is? Do you have hemorrhoids today? Because you are itch. you are perpetually butter. I'm back. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, do you have hemorrhoids today? Because you were perpetually butthurt. <laughs> saying. Good lord. Well, if somebody had a been two and a half hours, hey. <laughs> that ain't my fault. I had to go look at rocks. <laughs> Girl, we don't need to bring your meth habit into this. <laughs> but did you like the episode? <laughs> oh, man. This reminded me so much of, like, being a kid and how important those Christmas episodes used to be. I yeah. love them so much. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I was. You, you know and... the two. <laughs> so, sorry, go ahead. I don't, I, you made me lose my train of thought. What were you saying? I, I was going to say the two most important episodes for us as kids, or at least for me as kids, were the Christmas episodes and then the Saturday morning cartoon preview episodes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Those, that was always on prime time too, right? Uh-huh. Like it was, a, it was a thing. Oh my yes. gosh. It was a thing. Yes. Oh, yes. I forgot about those. Yes. Yes. We used to watch those things like it was like the NBA draft. Oh <laughs> my God. You know what? I, you know what else I watched that I used that I loved back in the nineties. I, I don't know if it's eighties or nineties. The 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 cartoon that was the Nancy Reagan "Just Say No to Drugs" cartoon that had all of the cartoons in it. Yes. Does yes. this uh, does this sound? For, oh, you just messaged me. You just took a copy and paste of what you told me, didn't you? No, no, I'm just I just sent you the link to the shirt. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank I am not I don't know why you think I have this like much more evil character. That's the than one. I That's yeah, the I one. Figured. I figured. That's the one. I love it. I'm gonna buy that too. <laughs> oh God, it is so good. It is thank you. Thank you so much. Oh God. What is that? Anyway, sorry. It was it was it was one of those TikToks on Facebook and it looked weird. Oh my God. Um, <coughs> Jeez. Yeah. 
So where are we at in this world? We did the Miss Georgia world already. We did the Miss Georgia. We did. We did. Do you like this? Yeah. We did. Do you like this? Um. Now so now I guess it's it's. Where Maine, do you find why don't me? you tell them where they can find you? Totally <laughs> awesome. Uh. Yeah. So. Um, I'm not butthurt. I'm just crazy. <laughs> if you're on social media at all, uh, you could find me at auntie.mame. That's M A I M. Uh-huh. Um. You can find me on Twitter at um mames ministry uh which i've been using a lot more because i realize i can just spout off every yes that's I want the best on there, part of it, it um which is really great and um if you are ever vacationing down here in uh the miami area uh i do improvise comedy uh, on saturday nights at villain theater and you can find them at villain theater.com and I host a weekly karaoke show called Amazing Colossal Karaoke at Kill Your Idol on Thursday nights at a little bar called Kill Your Idol. How about you, Mims? I'm the Divine Miss Mims. So divine. You can find me on Twitter at Divine Miss Mims. And I'm so happy that Mames now on Twitter because I can be a total troll to her. Totally. <laughs> you are, actually. I realized immediately, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Like we can, we can get crazy on here. We can get crazy. We can get rude. We can we totally. Can get, do it. We just have I, to be careful because if we ever want to be in politics, right? That always comes well, back to you. Well, girl, my OnlyFans gonna keep me out of that. Um, you can find this podcast at Baking Sugar Pod on Twitter. Again, we have a Patreon. Uh, Baking Sugar, throw us some bones. There's uh the PayPal link in our um description here. Yeah. Um damn. We love we love bones. We love bones. That's part of being gay that we just really love bones. <laughs> and we have we have another podcast called You Slay Me. It's a yes. murder she wrote podcast, which we should probably start talking about at the beginning of this for like a brief <laughs> second rather than wait till the end. <laughs> People have already left. They've oh, already left. Maybe you know what? Some of our episodes have like eighty to ninety percent retention. Oh, really? Mame, speaking of that, speaking of statistics. Are you retaining water? <laughs> speaking oh, of statistics. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say. After the United States, which country in this world of ours listens to our podcasts the most? Um, You won't get it. You may get it. The Czech Republic? No. 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 Ja- um, Portugal? No, 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 no. Um, think, think. It's, it's, it's on the continent of Asia. Oh, um, is Mongolia a country? It is a country, but that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> India, what? India, India. Yes. What in the yes. world? Yes, we are, we are, we are liked in India. Hey, apparently, at least, are, at least there's, there's over one a billion person. people there. We need to be, but we need to be marketing. I mean, not not really, because it's we we found like one or two people that are comfortable with gays. So there's oh, that. Okay. I'm like, okay, there's, yeah. yeah so there's, sorry, sorry about. But, yeah, okay. there's that. Yeah. There's there's wow. that. Like, so we we had we I think we had a listener in Bahrain, and I'm like, yeah. how is that working for you? That's <laughs> the- <laughs> <laughs> they're listening to us like at the quietest volume. Exactly. Like, they're like they don't want any person to hear anything that's coming out. No, 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 yeah, there's that. Anyway, where are we going with this? Oh, we're done. We're uh, we're done. Uh, so I guess as we're done, say good night, Mame. Good night, babe. Bye, y'all. <laughs>